It's a journey and they do change during that time. They grow up and they develop and they grow in confidence. It's just great to be around them. There's nothing more a, a prep school boy responds to than lots of activity and lots of fun. Aisgar School is a school that takes children from 3 to 13. We have a nursery and pre-prep, which is co-ed, and that goes up to 8. It's on the same site as the prep school. The prep school is a boys' boarding prep school that prepares boys to go on to public schools all over the country. It's so impressive the way that Aisgarth uh, regularly produces boys that will go on and thrive in uh, the, the sort of environment we have here at Harrow. We cater for sporty children, musical children, quiet children. Teaching would be boring if all children were the same. And there's so much to do, you can't really get bored. I would describe it as a school where boys can be boys. We're pretty passionate about the benefits of single sex education at this age and trying to ensure that whether it's in the classroom, whether it's on the games field, whether it's in the choir, wherever it is, that we're targeting what boys respond to rather than trying to pitch somewhere between what's going to motivate both boys and girls. Everything that we do is learning and where they derive that self-esteem and confidence from will vary from one boy to another and it might be because they're brilliant at making things in the CDT workshop and the confidence they get from that spills over into the academic work that they do um, just as the extremely able boy gets his self-esteem from that and is willing to have a go at some of the things he's not naturally necessarily very good at. Potential is a huge aspect of education and it's one of the things that we try and recognise in every individual child. The fact that it is a boarding school enables us to do prep at school, the children's homework can be done at school. If I go into classrooms that we've got, which have been classrooms for 120 years, and look at what they can achieve, because they all have digital projectors, interactive whiteboards, internet connections, laptops, we can do everything that you can do in a modern classroom. And we like confident young men that love to learn, so character's a key part of it. And actually Aisgarth is clearly an environment which encourages the growth of strong character. A good teacher will make the lessons interesting too and, and, and varied. You'll find that everybody's looking in and listening. They are actually um, listening to what's going on. And in the classroom, all the staff at Aisgarth are much more open with their pupils, uh, the discussions are much more open, and this only strives to achieve in the academic standards that we set. Yeah, I mean, the school academics is very good, the teachers are all very, very good. I try to get in lots of revision with members of staff. You don't have to be clever at all, but it's, they, they make you clever. It is the only all-boys boarding prep school in the north of England. We do welcome day boys, but the whole ethos of the school, everything about it, is driven by the fact that it's full boarding. Well, the boarding's really, really good because it's sort of, yeah, it kind of almost makes you feel like you're sort of at home almost. I'd say headmaster and um, his wife, Mrs. Goddard, they're sort of like our second parents. When we're away from home, the boarders, we use them as our um, people to go to. The more times the boy can come here before he starts is helpful because I think every time he comes they all feel perhaps a little bit more uh, familiar with the place so they'll have one or maybe two visits, perhaps one with the parents on their own, one with the boy. New boys day, the day they come to get uniform, come and watch a play, anything like that so that they're a little bit more familiar with, with us and with the place. The, the first couple of weeks everybody gets their period of homesickness 
but once you get into it, it's such a nice environment here. After a while, you actually sometimes don't feel you want to go home because you're with your friends and you get used to it. We very much focus in those first few weeks and months on plunging them into lots of activity and lots of fun so that they almost sort of aren't aware that they're not at home. Truthfully, we can never replicate home completely. Uh, but what we can do is give things that they can't do at home. For instance, some boys say it's like one big sleepover party. Uh, 100 friends here every night uh, enjoying themselves, you know, you can't get out at home. But what we do is we provide a caring, loving environment. Uh, we have matrons and nurses who are there to tuck the boys up at bed. The house master's there to provide lots of fun. And many parents do say to me actually that we provide more activities that they couldn't do at home. We try and ensure that that's visible to parents because our website is updated every week with photographs of what the boys have been doing and parents can see photographs of their sons and that I think is reassuring for parents um, who aren't seeing their little boys every day but can see them on the website. The matches they can come and visit chapel and concerts. We have a, a sort of a multinational uh, selection of boys here at the moment. We have some French boys, some Spanish boys, and we feel that the boys who come to Aysgarth from different cultures actually bring a, a wonderful sort of change to the Aysgarth life. Well, yeah, really, they help me. They were like asking questions if I if they could help me, and they're really kind, talking to me and saying, "Do you want to play this and do that?" When the children come to Aysgarth, they should expect a fun and safe, happy dorm. They've all got their own individual bed. They have their own cabinet, they have their own space. They've got common rooms where they can go and play. Fantastic grounds and facilities. The food is fantastic at Aysgarth. And what we have is a school council. Uh, the school council runs every term where the boys meet with teachers and the kitchen staff. And they actually are involved in the selection of a menu. And even in the school council meetings, we have food tasting sessions. You'll, you'll never be mummy, but uh, as long as they feel safe with you, as long as they know that you're going to champion their cause, as long as they know that you value them, and as long as they know that they can be themselves. It's a really happy environment. danger in a, an all-boys school is that sport dominates. Uh, sport is very important to us, but we've been determined to make sure that the, the artistic, the creative, the sensitive, the quiet actually have their opportunity to show what they can do. Uh, well, we are both characters in our musical production of Oliver, and I'm Oliver, hence the rags, and this is Nancy, hence the makeup. The music is exceptional. I think um, the art is now very good indeed too. So Picture of the Week is awarded every week and a boy will, will get the congratulations of the whole school for winning that. The picture will be hung in the dining room for the week and then move around the school. So we really do go out of our way to make sure that the artists get their moment of, of glory as well. You can pretty much do what you want with the music as long as um, You've got the music master's permission and you're prepared for it. As he, were, he wouldn't let you do anything that he thought you wouldn't be able to pull off. So you just have to make sure that they know what you're doing. There's loads of sport to do. But I mean, we do take our sport quite seriously. We play cricket in the summer, rugby in the autumn term and football in the spring term. We take all of them seriously, we're keen to, to be successful. So each of them have their specialist coaches um, who will coach the boys right the way through the school and including the children in the pre-prep. So they start early and um, we're obviously keen to succeed, keen to breed that sort of aspiring to success but learning to take your setbacks as well. Um, well, we have games every day, but in the evening you can do one activity each night if you want, but you have to sign up for them. But also the fact that they're here at the weekend, the fact that they're here on Saturday and Sunday, gives us more time to enter competitions, national competitions, 
where the children can get really tucked into those traditional sports. But as well as that, we recognise that all children aren't uh, keen on the cricket, football, rugby, and that's why we have climbing, canoeing, archery, shooting as well. The sports teacher might have picked you for the cricket team. You can ask him and say, I, I prefer to do sailing and I need to let you go off and do what you prefer to do. Even the boys who aren't sporty get a chance to play as well because we have something called Spirit of Soccer and the idea is that it's for boys who aren't normally selected for their football team. Funnily enough, to be picked in a team is a, is a real Philip, isn't it? Yeah. What we try to do at Ace Golf is provide a very broad and balanced spectrum of activities that are fun. Uh, and, and we try and make them slightly different from the normal activities they do in the school day. So we do things like the water slide, German spotlight, pillow fighting. Mine would have to be the water slide in the summer. We all go up onto West Lodge and come screaming down the hill. And there's tennis, swimming, all sorts of stuff you can do on main fields and there's just so much stuff you can do in all the different um, terms and it's just great fun, there's, you can never get bored. For the, the, the relatively small number of boys, the fact that they've got 50 acres in which they can run around and in which they have a lot of freedom to explore is a wonderful asset. They learn to sort of get out and enjoy the outdoors. We're boys so that's what we do, we mess around and that's, that's us. I'd like to think that um, the school had a reputation for having very strong Christian values at the centre because the Christian faith is important to us, but certainly we see it as very much core to the school. And the boys get quite a lot of exposure when we have chapel every day and some wonderful preachers. This is the chapel. Uh, we do loads of singing in here. We all come in here every morning, say some prayers, sing some hymns. Really good fun. The choir is an example where, in a co-ed school, it would probably be dominated by girls because the boys would start to say that's a girly thing. Whereas our choir is all boys choir and it's cool to be in the choir. And the captain of cricket or the captain of rugby as well as the artists and whoever else are in the choir and boys aspire to be in the choir. I think that's a great attribute of a single sex school. Most people want to be in the choir because it's pretty cool to be in there because everybody likes you. Right, well, well done, boys. Really good luck with you. I hope that by the time they leave here, they have found whatever it is that they're going to enjoy and be good at and have had recognition for that. With Aysgarth in mind, the experience the boys get there really does prepare them well for full boarding public school life. Anthony will normally have tapped the parents on the shoulder by about the second year to say what have you thought about the next, next stage and very much getting the right school for the boy isn't it and indeed the right housemaster so it's not just a question of you know, we want to get the boys into these schools, but you do take a lot of trouble, don't you, going through the schools and what, yeah. which school you think is right for the boy. Looking forward to going to my next school because it's all exciting and new and will be the bottom year again, but I'll definitely be sad in some aspects because it's been so, I feel like I've been there so long. We are very keen that anyone and everyone feels able to consider Aysgarth for their sons and for their children in the pre-prep. The whole closeness of the school and the whole friendship part of it is just so strong here that I would just be devastated to leave and um, I'd miss them really, really loads. Mm -hmm.